What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been real busy with work and yeah, been real busy with work. I've been like crazy busy this whole month. It's been crazy and I stay busy with work. Thank God I do. Cause if I don't work then I'd be bored at home. <clears throat> right now we are on the way uh, to check out. I mean, I don't know. We already checked it, but we're going to go fix a car. It's a, uh, I forgot what year. It's like a 2015 or 2016. Something like that. Ford Escape. We're going to go change. Uh, it's a hose that had busted. Coolant hose. Coolant by bypass hose, that's what it's called. So we're gonna go, um, the customer already ordered it. We're gonna go work on it and fix it, turn it on, make sure it's back in the road, no more coolant leaks. And yeah, so let's go ahead. And then after that, we already have another appointment. So we are, and then after that, we have a third appointment so today is Friday, it's gonna be busy, end of the week. So let's go ahead and do that. Check it out guys, here we are. Uh, we're gonna replace this post down there. It goes like, it goes like this. It's located underneath the throttle body, underneath the intake. So let's see what we have to remove. So we can change that hose out real quick. This is a coolant bypass hose. That's what it's called. There's a part number right here. If you're ever looking for one, let's get to it. Okay, move this out the way. Next. Push it out. Next, we just okay. It's another water hose. Let's remove the throttle body tube, turbo tube. We already took this lower turbo hose out the way, throttle body hose. Next, we're gonna remove the throttle body. It's held by four T27. So we're gonna do that right now, but I can't hold the camera. All right guys, so I ended up taking the whole turbocharger hose out the way. Better access, and it's easier to remove the bolts from the throttle body since they're like pointed up. I was able to reach them with the long, long extension from the bottom, and I mean, throttle body is completely out. I'm gonna go underneath and check it out. Check it out. Better access. Just carefully. Move this. Okay, cool. Put it to the side. Big 
careful with them. Check it out, guys. We got full access to the hose now. It's uh, this one. This one right here. So it goes. Can y'all see right now? It's very bright outside. That one located right here. This one that goes all the way right here. It's called coolant bypass hose. Couldn't find no videos of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and make one so that it could be easier for people. All right, so it looks like we just have one clamp right here. So let's get our pliers. Try to wiggle them in there. clamps all right guys check it out I was able to remove the freaking hose uh, right there I had to cut it with a blade it wasn't coming out and wasn't there there's not a lot of space to work here all we gotta do is remove it from the middle hanger. There you go, pull it out. And carefully remove it from here. Like I said, there's not enough space here, so we're gonna have to work with this right here. Okay. I feel like this one will fit, but I want to be careful because it's inside the plastic tubing. So you want to be very, very careful. I thought you could break it. And there's absolutely no space here. I hate these. Oh, this 
facing up. We can use these. It's easier. Close it. Now we have to twist it. So I think I'm going to just cut it. I don't want to damage nothing. So we're just going to cut it slowly. There we go. And it should slide right out. ripping it more because it was stuck in there but it goes kind of like yeah it goes like this so right now we're gonna install it back in put our uh clean the this clean this up from that side and clean it from the other side and should be ready to go all right guys all right guys we are back we were able to clean that up the little holes where they go to and now we're gonna put a little bit of dab of grease in there so that it doesn't go in dry. Put a little bit of grease in the holes. So you never want to go in dry. Next, we just go ahead and reverse order and should be ready to go. Back on the road. body back on and the lower hose and it's ready to go the TB I'm gonna clean it a little bit because it's a little dirty so let's go ahead and do that right now check it out it's way better cleaner give it a little wipe down and it should be ready to go back in so let's go ahead and do that body's in well, kind of, we're going to go underneath, put the bolts facing up and uh, with the extended ratchet and a T27, we're going to bolt them back up. So let's go. Check it out, guys. We are done. Uh, throttle bot is in, connected, lower tube is in, this little vacuum hose is in, the heater hose, coolant bypass hose is in to do is add some coolant let it run for a bit wait for the fans to kick in and should be ready to go so that's how you do it guys so let's go ahead and do that right now it's so there you have it guys this one's ready Everything's in. We're letting it bleed by itself for the waiting for the fans to kick in by itself and should be ready to go. So right now we're waiting on this a couple more minutes. So once this is done, we're gonna go to the next job. So yep. Well alright guys, so right now we came to check the the other truck we had. Uh I already checked it, uh, it has a bunch of, it needs a lot of work, but I quoted everything for the customer and they said it was a little too much, so we're only gonna do like half of the things. We're gonna do the bearings, the seals, the rotors, the brake pads, 
dust caps. It's a 99 Ford Ecoline, the bands. So those those rotors are with the bearings. You have to pack the bearings and with the with the nut and stuff. You know, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, the the cap fell off, all the grease fell off, and messed up the bearings, and it was just tragic. So we're on the way to pick everything up. We're gonna do uh, the oil change. We're gonna do the oil oil filter and the air filter because he says he's never remember doing maintenance on that van and he uses it for work so I was like man gotta be careful but we're on the way to auto parts right now to pick everything up and hopefully they have everything there so let's go check it out guys here we are with the 99 or 98 for deco line check it out these bearings about to fall off already we got everything Luckily they had everything, so let's go ahead and take everything off, so we're good. joints, tie rods, this bushings, I beam bushings, axle bushings. So we're gonna take everything apart. We're gonna change the brake pads, the rotor, the bearings, the bearings completely destroyed. We're gonna go from there. deep sometimes these have an ABS but this one doesn't have no ABS we already have the race in so all we gotta do is pick the bearings up put a little bit of grease in here and get it to go give me fresh we're gonna put a little bit of grease right here on the race too much, don't go crazy on the grease. 
But yeah. Let me show y'all the way I pack these bearings. I feel like it's the best way. So let's go ahead and get the bearing. Let's put the inner. new bearing this part's already in here so you don't need that one you need this i like to use this tool right here bought this from amazon i don't even know what brand this is but it's a lifesaver <laughs> because it avoids a big mess and just uh put the bearing in there push it down do like push down circular motion and there you go bearings packed see what I mean easy way this is gonna be the easy way other people like to put it on their palm and pack it but it takes too long check it out all over the bearing packed inside you're gonna clean it up a little bit, put it around the bearing. This in here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the new seal in. Brand new seal, we're gonna put it in so that it can be sealed up. Those installers, but I always forget to buy one. Oh. So. Check it out. Beautiful. Everything's packed in, grill, uh, seals in. I like to put a little bit of grease in here. Right here where the seal is going to ride. I like to put a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Process. I like to put a little bit right here on the race, not too much. There you go, that's enough. And put the rotor. Beautiful. Cool tool from Amazon. I think it's like bearing pack or something. I don't know. But I seen one at AutoZone. They look the same. So press down, make some circles, and there you go. Packed. See? Boom, like 10 seconds. You don't have to deal with the palm and stuff. That was back in the day. I used to do that, but I was like, you know what? That takes too much time. Time is money right now. Check it out. I accidentally threw the washer out. I was like, I know I'm missing something. So let's get back to it. Okay. I was like, I know I'm missing something. I've done this trillions of times. Check it out. This washer can only go in one way. Grab the nut. Where's the nut? Alright, so grab the nut, twist it in. Twist it, turn it, tighten it, twist it, loosen it, 
tightening in because so that bearings could sit sit down everything could sit down correctly all right guys so we're gonna tighten this right now we gotta put we're not done yet we just gotta tighten this at the end with the tire and stuff but right now we're gonna put this there's no play up and down in and out well, the bearing we have played because of the tie rods but that's a whole different story and just give it like a quarter turn back and see if there's any play if there is any play in the bearing give it a little bit more turn just to enough so that there's no play in the bearing still play a little turn there you go that's how you sit them down tighten this nut up you don't want to go too tight because you'll press the bearing but that's enough like right there where it stops and there you go there's no play in and out right here twist it so you mess the hole right there where it sits just any other card pin side so that, there you go that's how you do it on one side we got to do the same thing on the other side and well, we're gonna clean a little bit of that tire and we're gonna do the oil change and the air filter and it should be ready to go so let's get to it bearings outer bearings the seals pads and rotors are all in we did the oil change we did the air filter so that's we're done with this van we're gonna go check uh one of the other vans he has he has like two more he wants us to check we're just gonna check those um he said it's eating up both of the front tires so maybe tie rods ball joints shocks we're gonna go see, check it out, both of them, and uh, tell the customer what he needs and how he schedule. All right, guys. So check it out. Uh, I had to call the customer about the last job, saying that. Well, I was calling him because just to make sure he was home, but he's not home. So right now, I want to just go home, and I'm done for the day. I'm tired. Um, so 
there you go guys uh, that was a quick little video of today what I did today I mean it was okay for today what else so I'm uh I don't know if people like these videos that I do like daily videos I, I don't know I don't want to get people boring um because I like doing them it's just like I don't want to upload the same thing over and over but I mean if people would like it I mean I don't I don't mind but sometimes I do get too busy and I don't even have time to record and I gotta go home and edit and stuff so I just be busy but people like them then I'll probably do like a few videos once once a week or something like this if I get busy days sometimes there's busy days and sometimes there's slow days but it all depends today was like a medium day so I'm happy with it but thanks everyone thanks everybody that watches my videos so please like and subscribe and uh thanks peace